Protein is essential for life. We need protein to build muscle tissue, to make enzymes for our metabolic activity, to form the protective layer of our skin, to make DNA. In fact, for most processes in our body, there are thought to be 19,000 different proteins in the human body, all with different specialized functions and locations. Most people get a lot of their protein from their diet, specifically from meat. But what about the rest? In this video, we're going to look at a mycoprotein, which is protein derived from fungi rather than animal tissue or other better known sources. So let's row back a little. What is protein? A protein is a molecule made from individual subunits called amino acids. Our body needs 20 different amino acids to make up all of the different proteins inside it. Our bodies can synthesize 11 of these amino acids itself, but we need to take nine of them in through our diet. These nine are called essential amino acids. So we consume proteins in our diets, which contain different combinations of amino acids. They are broken down into amino acids, and then our body can make all the proteins it needs to function. Animal products like meat, poultry, and eggs have high levels of protein and a mixture of different amino acids. And so people who choose to eat these products are able to meet their protein intake requirements. But there are some people who do not want to consume animal products vegetarians, vegans, people who have an allergy or just don't like eating meat. How do these people get enough protein and a balance of essential amino acids in their diet for their body to function properly? One answer to that question is mycoprotein. Mycoprotein is a protein that is derived from a species of fungi called Fusarium venenatum. Let's have a look at how mycoprotein is made. The fungus is cultured in industrial fermenters, which is basically a large container of fluid and microbes. The fermenter is filled with a sterilized water and glucose solution. A starter culture of the fungus, Fusarium venenatum, is added, which use the glucose for respiration. Over the next five weeks, more sterile glucose, ammonia gas, and oxygen from the air are added to provide the fungus with the right conditions to grow. The ammonia is a gas which contains high levels of nitrogen. The nitrogen is used by the fungus to produce amino acids, which in turn makes up proteins. The oxygen in the air and the glucose allow the fungus to respire aerobically. Over the five weeks, given the optimum pH balance, temperature, nutrient concentration and oxygen conditions, the fungus grows rapidly, doubling its biomass every five hours. The fermenter has a cooling system to remove excess heat generated by the respiring fungus. At the end of the five weeks, it's time to harvest the mycoprotein. Before it can be used to make different kinds of food, the mycoprotein has to be heated up to 65 degrees to remove nucleic acid. The nucleic acid is removed because too much of it can cause problems for people with gout. The product is then dried to remove the water and chilled. And voila, we have mycoprotein. Once dry, the mycoprotein can be used to make vegetarian versions of meat products, like vegetarian sausages, burger patties, or mints. Mycoprotein supplies all the essential amino acids that humans need to make proteins. It is also low in fats, so it can be a healthy protein source in our diet. As well as being a good source of protein, mycoprotein is very efficient in terms of growth and has a reduced environmental impact compared to traditional meat protein sources. As mycoprotein is grown in fermenters with controlled conditions, it can be grown in a laboratory anywhere in five weeks. And that's it. Easy made mycoprotein can be a valuable source of amino acids that the body needs to make all kinds of different proteins especially when considering growing world population with a greatly increasing protein demand. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fusco app as well? Until next time.